This is the Tika T3X TACA1. It is chambered in 6.5 Creamore. Barrel length of 24 inches and a magazine capacity of 10 rounds. The stock is a black aluminum chassis with an adjustable butt stock that's foldable and completely adjustable. It also has an M-Lock forend. The weight is 11.3 pounds, so a bipod is very necessary for this rifle. The trigger is also adjustable and currently sits at three pounds. It is a fantastic trigger pull. The action is very smooth and easy to cycle. On top, we have a Burris scope. It is hard to miss with this rifle with the great trigger pull, the comfortable stock, and the expensive scope on top. This is a very precise rifle, and luckily I was able to go to the range and test it out. I hit it and it wrapped around the post. Yeah. You don't do that. <laughs> you know you get it. I hit it, guys. Fire I'll pick that up later. Did it go in? No, it did it. So that's one thing I will say is yeah, a complaint. That's is feeding the next round. So do you have to push the nose? Yeah, you have to push the nose down to get it to catch the, the cartridge. I've never done that before. A couple times. Huh. That's weird. I'll, I'll go. The spring's not strong enough. I have no idea if I hit the ball because nothing happened. Does that, yeah, come on. Does that compensator come up again? On the front of the barrel? This is the compensator come. Yeah, yeah, Alright, it's working now. <laughs> Heard you hit that ball again. I'm I'm hitting the metal target yeah. because Man, this thing You really can't hardly miss a target. You can't now. you can't hardly miss with it. Uh how big is that metal target out there? Four by four. Four by four? Yeah. That was easy. It's got a great trigger on it. That reticle is awesome. It's really easy to steady this rifle. I had no problem hitting that target. This rifle is very accurate and easy to get the shots on target. This is my group at 100 yards on a 4 inch metal target. Now there is a flyer but that was on purpose. I was trying to get the metal target to react differently. It was such a joy to shoot. I've never shot the 6.5 Creamor before, but man, was it a joy. At a dollar a piece, I only shot five rounds, but I felt honored that I was able to shoot those five. So if you guys would like to see more on this rifle, put something down in the comments below, and maybe I'll convince the owner to bring it back out. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up. Yes.